mara ya pili wakati ambapo niliombewa nikapelekwa mali penye kulikuwa na musicians walikuwa hapo wengi walikuwa wakilia kabisa wengine walikuwa na, na microphones wanaambia waimbe lakini hizo microphones pia zilikuwa na moto zilikuwa zinawaka kabisa sasa time wanashika hivi pia wanaanza kuungua then after hapo hivyo nikapelekwa the other side nikarudisha mbinguni wakati nilirudisha nikapeleka nikaonyesha eh, waimbaji wenyewe wali make heaven kadha nikaona walikuwa wamevalishwa nguo za white na walikuwa wanaimba kabisa nikaona ema chichi nikaona fanul zedekia nikaona osinachi huyu mwenye alikufa juzi alafu kukakuwa na watoto wengine walikuwa hapo sikuwa na wajua walikuwa wadogo kabisa hapo hivyo pia walikuwa wanaimba alafu yovisho nikaishia hapo Wow, bwana siwe. Joe naingiwa na nasikia naingiwa na baridi kwa sababu ya wanasiasa. They don't care about getting the offices in the fear of God. They only care about how much they can amass. So that means president Kibaki didn't make heaven. That means president Moi didn't make heaven. That means the founding father of the nation Jomo Kenyatta didn't make heaven. And also there's a vision about Jaramogi Oginga Odinga he didn't make heaven. God is not respect of persons. So kiona kwamba vision yake kibaki na anakula mashilingi that means he had a problem with finances. Hakuwa mwaminifu kwa pesa. Akiwa duniani because it's official na pewa your entrusted responsibility so when we serve men we serve men at the behest of god whether you are saved or not saved so kuna kama ana anahukumiwa migu yake na mikoa na kula moto ni mateso hayo acha nikwambie hata wewe no matter how small you are god does not ataku deal na wewe dependence on the office umepewa so naona katika katika kuzimu kuna category ya kings i saw that in isaiah isaiah na nikatoa nabi kwamba utakufa watu wakubwa and i read that prophecy niliwaambia ni mapema mwaka huu na mwaka ujao kutakufa marais wanasiasa watu wakubwa wakubwa watakufa in this season ya judgment ya Mungu hizi miaka tatu So katika kuzimu kuna sessions unahukumiwa na unatumwa motoni kulingana na madhambi na klasi yako. Line yako ni so kuna line ya ma presidents na wafalme. They have a session in hell ya wow. Isaiah the prophet so it talks about that one. But it is true. As una sikia kuna every president una york uko na chuma ya mateso yako. Una nira ya mateso ya kulingana na inchi yako so kama wewe ni eh, wa, wa Kenya kuna haya ya wa Kenya kama wewe ni wa Tanzania so wa Kenya tumeshaona na muona nchi zinginezo i really pray that hope ikushike sana hata sisi eh, prophets god can give you time to repent but if it happen you die kama hujaunda njia zako but it's too late Nashukuru maana kuna waimbaji ambao wamemeka heaven nimefurahi kusikia the sinachi nimefurahi kusikia kuhusu uh, families of the care making heaven and then also uh, that was our favorite um, gospel singer ambaye umemachichi uh, I thank God I really thank God kwamba they made heaven but I'm so certain kwa wale ambao they didn't make heaven Mahubiri ambazo nimehubiri kuhusu kuzalisha hatima God must God does emphasize mahubiri hayo kutumia visions kama hizi so the vision yenye amepewa it, it is actually the 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 exposition yenye mahubiri yenu kuhusu the visitation of God and the bathing in this season kuzalisha katika kuzalisha katika nyakati hizi unazalisha And hiyo uh, kuzalishwa na kusudi ya kusudi ya meza hii. So we are taking today holy communion for the purpose of strength. So the communion we are taking today is for is actually for bathing during the season of God's visitation. Tutashiriki meza ya Bwana kwa ajili ya kuzalisha. 
So unapokea, you are receiving an impartation by the so holy communion for the purpose of you bathing in the season of God's visitation. So that means ndaongelea kwa usta ongelea kwa undani sana maana hizi vision ni mahubiri. I preach the first message na nimeihubiri sawa sawa. So this one I may not have time to finish it. But I'll just uh, I'll just uh, I'll just allow us to partake holy communion uh, by mentioning a uh, one two three I just mentioned some points so sita hubiri hiyo. But I'll just preach it on Tuesday online mahubiri ya leo second service. So unaona kwamba watu wanapitishiwa anaona vile watu wanapitishiwa katika maawamu you are being passed through processes bad things is not just uh, an, an occurrence it is a process to, for you to bath So malaika wa Mungu wanafika mahali wanakukasirikia paka wanakugombanisha Yaani wewe una kitu hauzai na some of us are not bathing anything because one you despise the midwife mimi Pakuna anasema kwamba apostle ni kama sije anatumia ni atumie roho anatumia kichwa anatumia mwili. Leo <laughs> mtu kama wewe ni judgment umetafuta. Fanya mbio ukuje ukuje unione. Ukijua niongea hivyo. Fanya haraka sana ukuje unione on Tuesday. Bwana watu kama hao wameleletea judgment. Roho bwana atakupiga. Roho bwana atakunyorosha. I know for some people I'm, I'm judgment. You speak vibaya kusha. Sasa make sure <laughs> kama unajua uliongea vibaya panga line ya kuniona on Tuesday. For your own good. Mimi hata useme chochote mimi I don't care. Mimi Mungu aliona kwamba kwa watu wote akanichagua kaniweka nitumike. So I don't aliangalia nini. Sasa wewe umeona vizuri. <laughs> eh fanya amani na Bwana. Unajua utaanza lazima ufanye amani na Bwana kupitia pia kuniambia yeye ni mimi nilikuongea na then Mungu atakusaidia maana God looks at confession. So na, anaonyeshwa hiyo sauti ambao unapata uwezi kuzaa because mwenye kikuzalisha ndio unaongea kinyume na yeye. So that's unapata kuna watu wengi ambao they have, they have stagnated their lives. Hawaendi mahali. Huyo dada jamaliziwa rudisha yeye. <laughs> Baba kato siba. Riki yantala lamo si yanto raba. Sasa <laughs> Please kuna watu mshe watoshani. Hata it is very unfortunate kwamba tuko na wewe hapa na hizi vision zote na hizo tu watu wanasema ni mwili. Ukisema nitumikia mwili, ni saa ngapi ilikuwa kwa mwili na saa ngapi vitu vinafanyika? Wewe unataka kukufa. The people just want to die. Na please kama una kufusi kufia hapa, kwa dawa ya matoka, sitaki watu kukufia hapa. Kufia mali pengine. So nasikia malaika bwana wana wanagombana maana kuna watu wanangoja uzae kama hauzae wewe utatufaidi nini Some of us unakana uzae muujiza zaa masomo hati ma yako kuna kuna kuzaa vitu ambazo unazaa ni kulingana maubiri that's why i wonder watu wa makanisa kanisa hapo wanangoja maubiri ya sande pekee I preach messages on Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday jumbe ambazo i don't preach here on Sunday because I don't have enough time. Those messages are three hours, two hours, three hours, two hours. If you don't get those messages, utapata nguvu ya kuzaa. Sana onyesho kwamba kuna watu ambao wangezaa. So mko kwa majumba ya kuzaa. I won't interpret the entire that one. But uh, imezungumzia mchakato mzima. Mimi kusaidia watu kutoka katika vikwamo so there's a part i do kukutoa katika vifungo vyako kukutoa katika vifunga ambazo umekuwa ndani so unajipata unakanyaga kanyaga so for her ilibidi kuombea sana msichana nya grace kuna shimo ilikuwa tunakutoa hmm? i really had to i was i was praying and i felt like i was really fighting so as a prophet that was on friday F- praying and that was also on sunday kukutoa katika shimo lingia i just need that you come and see me nijue hiyo shimo lingia namna gani that the enemy locks you na nakuweka chini anakuangalia ukiteseka but we thank God that you are out i pray that you won't do mistakes you've done before they have caused you delay you should not miss your seasons next time sikatarabaya <sighs> 
hamu sika makutaba Rianto riba Babla kuntarika masu Rianto seba Baba I praise you Lord Thank you Father that she's delivered the message And Lord my Father She be not a data on this one If there be any others Lord She are quicken in her Lord Baba to share it And to release it Holy Spirit of God Be thou our helper now May you, Lord, help her through this. Help her through this, Lord. Help her through this. I pray that may your power and your fire begin to work over her. Begin to work, Lord. Work through her, Father. Work through her, dear Jesus. Work through her, Lord, to fulfill that which thou hast ordained. Name of one in a good idea, in a good idea. Wanzia kwa migu yako, ikipanda juki chua. Katika jina la mbaba. Tena mungu mwani, tena mungu roho mdakatifu. Na kuwazia sasa mungu wakudishe katika ahali ambazo ukafanyika. Kila ambacho alikusudia ukafanyika. Baba, sika yanto riba. Nitala kumpra kutaba. Lianto sinta la lianta kumtaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Baba, I pray. Toba yaka yu kaifanyishia. Akiwa na wewe. Akiwa na wewe. Akiwa na kuna toba ambao unaenda kufanyisha kwa Bwana. Kuna toba unafanya kwa Bwana katika roho. There's a there's a repentance that you are working it out with God. Now, kwa Bwana akusaidia. Unaenda kufanyisha toba yako na Bwana. Toba yako unaifanya na Bwana. Naambia kuna toba mbaya au kukamilisha. There's a repentance that is not full. God wants you to do it. And Lord Jesus show her. Tunshwa ni gani? Uh, baba onyesha yeye ndio 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 katika hali ya amani yako na Bwana. Haya roho Bwana, chukua. Chukua. Chukua roho Bwana. Chukua. 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 Chukua kwa tusiba. Chukua, 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 chukua. Chukuliwa, chukuliwa, chukuliwa. Baba, peleka, peleka, peleka. Roho Bwana, help him, help her, help her. Help her, Holy Ghost. Be thou her helper in the name of Yeshua, ya Masia. Tusiba na kutara. Rima mamo yanto baganda la talasika la lianto kuntaba. In the name of Yeshua ya Masia. 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 Baba. Labla kanto rika yisi mtaba. Oh Yeshua buwani. The Lord have mercy. Amen.